especially myself. against this lineup of defenders, Jaeger Bandit Pulse, has <laughs> decimates one armor defenders. Exactly. But he was just teased and then switched away to Thatcher. So the attacking lineup then for infused Ash, Sledge, Thatcher, Thermite, Buck. So no shield whatsoever, choosing to go away from that, but still bringing the double grenades to bring in Buck for the floor destruction. And well, S interesting that they're bringing Thatcher to the table. Something that a lot of other teams are starting to yeah, phase out of their operator the selection since the changes. But again, with the Thatcher, they can actually be sure that the four grenades that they have you know, are not by Jaeger. Uh, yeah, let's call it Jaeger device. So the grenades yeah. will stay and uh, yeah, do an impact. So you just need to actually EMP. For example, you can take the B bomb site from the top, EMP the top away, and then you have definitely two angles where you can throw grenades on in simultaneously and push the people away and then enter it. So um, there are a lot of uh, ways what you can actually do. And um, let's see how they will actually have, how they will roam, how many roamers they will have. And uh, we see the toll actually with a, with a carbine uh, recruit here. Yeah, so we talked about this earlier on while Vitality played, running that carbine recruit with extra barbed wire and still having a nitrous cell. So we get two carbines. We've got a lot of barbed wire here for Barrage, and there is an extra C4 now, so three C4s total here from this squad. We'll see whether they can be as effective while defending as right now Detol and TWBFC are a little bit spread on out, but Whiskers has already been downed here. Entirely how this happened. I'm going to go down to the big-ass explosion hole that's right here underneath him. Grenades that were thrown in from below him in through the garage. Or well, the ash charge, perhaps, and maybe one of the two, but ultimately the result is the same. Uh, it was Buck actually opening up the scene, and this is again what I said before. The the garage is such a crucial entry. Again, you can also take the top with the slash and the bottom with the with the Buck, or the other way around, and uh, you can just have like so much vision and push the opponents away. So back outside goes Optics, but he's already done a fair bit of damage to that floor and knocked off some locations for the defenders where they can no longer stand safely. Upstairs, Dettol is now being droned out. TWBFC is yet to be found, but there we go. The spots for the wall gives Webster a good, easy kill from outside the main fireplace doorway. And the first kill is on the board for the attacking team. Now, TWBFC is looking for Webster and will pick him up with a lot of bullets, but ultimately secures it all the same while he's trying to take out the camera. Peeks out the next side, finds Sledge, and they do down each other. There's now two downed members for Infused, but Webster will be revived as he managed to crawl out to safety. Smitch is just hiding here in the corridor and trying to avoid bleeding out, or TWBFC crawls back into the safety here of the library. It's not going to be safe much longer, though, as the revive does go through onto Smitch, and Buck will go on through and finish him off easily afterwards. So both room is down, and still five members up here for the Infused attack. Starting to come down the back stairs now from the master bedroom towards Wizkid. Perfect peak timing. Sees him with the heartbeat sensor, listens to him in the barbed wire, and then an easy kill onto Smitch as he starts to try and sledge it open. Looking for the next one, but there's no one there yet. Now Whisker hiding outside the windows towards Trophy. Still on a slightly dismantled floor, though, has to be cautious, but. Right now he's a little bit safe. Webster, obviously back at half health, still has his two ash charges. He's cautious of someone being downstairs. Nothing to worry too much about there. Up comes Thatcher into barbed wire again. Wizkid is very close and will have an idea on who's there. Webster takes down a kill onto Willis, but then will get peaked by Wizkid, who gets taken down with two kills to his name. Optics though trades him away, and Snake gets wine gum. Nice and easy in towards the dining room to secure the round and infused. While they did come up against heavy resistance from Wizkid pushing there towards the end, had already done the job they needed, taking out those two roamers, giving them a enough of a lead that they had all the men required to trade in and out of the end. That was actually really interesting to see as uh, infused really had, they had the matter in hand, they, they, they had the momentum and uh, even after the, all those trades, but the thing is that they were not finished and they were just injured, so Infused did the right thing in picking them up and uh, yeah, capitalized from the uh, actually advantage. And I've never seen so many revives in the game, to be honest, it's, it's really interesting to see. Yeah, There's things like that where people then try and tell me that don't need Rook on Xbox, people get headshots. No, they don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just saw it. <laughs> exactly, <It's>, exactly. <laughs> There's exactly. a lot more downs than anywhere else, and well, 
in many a situation there, I mean, Jaeger would have been dead to Sledge if he didn't have the Rukama. Exactly. Wouldn't have got that trade down. Yes, okay, the result ended up the same, but the point is, if they were in a bit of better spot, if their Romans were a bit closer together, that could have ended very differently with that. Exactly. Things like this that are, are there, which now a lot of teams are starting to adapt to. Missing are far more Rook than ever before, but there are very few teams, very few players that consistently get headshots. And in the other situation, 10% damage reduction is just far too good to be ignored. Exactly. But we've done that many a time. Now it is time for the infused defense. They are obviously up at one round and they're now holding the same location, kitchen and trophy room. And well, upstairs goes a couple of their defenders just to plant some defenses before they then come back down. Webster now is hiding very nicely here in a bush. Cosplaying as a Wookiee. <laughs> Waiting for the attacks to come on through. Smitch firing through the floor preemptively at the window and at the doorway of the office. So they are ready for anyone that may come in that direction without actually playing the floor above. They can still be ready for it. Let the teams use the vertical destruction. Even to their advantage. Even I, I didn't even know this peak, for example. So you can actually really watch into a window. And I think that angle is also for someone uh, jumping in, it's nearly impossible to get. Like, yeah, so um, in that case, it's uh, really good. The problem is you need someone to actually watch it, so you can hear it, because you open the, the, uh, the floor, so you get the, the, the noise through. But uh, if you're off position, it will take a long time to go there and aim up. So. Um, you probably need an active aimer for those. So points. Snake very cautious of the floor underneath him as it's taking a beating. And he's also taken a lot of shots from outside as Blackbeard was by that window. He's now also been droned out again within here. So he's very, very cautious of more shots coming up from underneath him. And Whiskers is down there trying to do exactly that. Spraying up through the floor, looking for Puck to get that lucky shot. And it won't take much to take Snake down now that he's already very, very low in health. But he's hiding in just the right spot right now to survive the shots. Whiskers cautiously backs away for a minute or two and is looking for someone to push him, but it's not happening just yet. Anubis is down here though. Webster has come out from his bush and has also come down here. He's doing what he can to hold Whisker in here, but not pushing him, which is smart. He's got to come to you to make a move in towards the bomb sites, and with a minute left on the clock, he's got to do it pretty soon. And here he comes down the corridor. Webster sees him and he didn't see him at all. Webster on the wrong side, picks up one kill. Now he goes on in and will pre-fire around the corner for him, but Webster's ready for it, and there it is, secured and done. Webster is very, very low, but the work is complete. And with the C4 taking out one other kill, Wizkid is the last member of Barrage standing. The Infuse have five players still on their feet. And that was also, again, uh, a presence of team play. Webster had Anubis next to him, so uh, even the trade would have happened anyways. But Webster was on point and having, yeah, just getting the kill confirming that he's on a very good position. And there's an eager device taking actually the breaching round away from uh, Ash. And he goes, shoots the floor for a trap that's not there and gets no. shotgun down. No result there that surprises anyone. And, and round number two, to Infused. Exactly, and Infused did it. They, they just are opening up so strong. And I can't believe they're in the bottom of the leaderboard, are they? I mean, to be fair, Barrage yeah. are down the bottom too. Okay. Infused did have some slightly tougher matchups in the opening weeks, but they are already starting to look like a more coherent team here exactly. than they did in all those games combined, regardless of their opponents. They are yep. backing each other up a lot better. You saw there the crossfires in the wine cellar for one, the crossfires there upstairs. We had both Rook standing inside the trophy cabinet watching that door, and then the Fro Valkyrie was there to cover from a second angle. Yep. They're just a little bit more on point and while they're being rewarded with rounds for it. And now they're looking to attack that same location again. Kitchen and trophy room once more being defended by Barrage. Can they do a better job at holding it this time around? Defenders protect Let's your see. Bombs from being also what's very that. interesting to see is that compared to the game before, the attacking team decides to take the garage instead of the master bedroom and shooting from the master bedroom downstairs. They're actually relying on the garage and shooting from, yeah, from the bottom up. So um, this is really interesting. Instead of more or less just um, working with it and have the, the two floors covered. Because if you get to both floors, you can be sure to have the entrance on the bottom side. You are 100% sure. 
So, um, and you can push them away so far. If you do it in a, in a very good system, you can put them into dining room, all of them. And then, uh, yeah, just safely, sort of safely, uh, place the diffuser. It's not that easy, as I said, but still, there's a, the theory behind it, and uh, yeah, it's not without a reason. So, Detal now setting up a couple of defenses on the floor above, and once again, just trying to slow down the attacking team as much as possible. And of course, now going to go down and join nice close to his TWBFC roaming teammate. Still, both of them running those 416 carbines. Really, I'm waiting for the attackers to come their way. Attackers are going to be very, very cautious with that first. Webster at the kitchen window, just holding in towards Trophy. Looking for that person to step away in the wrong moment. Whiskers is that person, whether he knows it or not. I but he's also holding very, very static. Yeah, they know that there's someone watching there, or even the, the slightest chance of someone actually watching there and stepping in front of it would be uh, devastating. I mean, it's the yeah, it's just Pico's advantage at this point. Because he's already watching him, so. so. Make it into the office as Ash goes up the ladder. Does tell him it's clear and then go to drone the rest of the building. He's up to one window. TWBSC down in the basement still. Anubis is already in the library. They chase Detol down. He's on the bottom stairs, but does get a kill onto Optics straight up the stairs. Buck chased him in towards the wine cellar. Very much solo and he'll lose out for it. No one there to catch him on the backside because TW is watching the backside. He's now looking to come up the stairs as he can hear Anubis on the stairs above him. There he sees him. He does get attacked through the gap and Anubis is incredibly low. And that will be a secured headshot. TW gets that done. Now Webster's inside here and that's so going to get pinned between Detto and TW if he's not careful. Oh, there's one open, pushes into the corridor. TW's prone in the corner and gets in with ease. Now there's only two attackers left up. Snake still droning. Smitch on the top floor very much alone. Nothing to do with those two rumors, and well, not a good attempt at taking them out here by Infused. Once again, going one by one, without really proper knowledge of where they are. Actually, I mean, I mean, TWBFC, the, he was called. Why was he just going down so reckless? I mean, the call was there, and, and every, every information was given. So, um, yeah, um, there we go. We have Whiskit taking down Smitch. And there is only Snake left. Snake again, same spot where Whiskit actually took down um, Smitch here. So um, Snake will be, yeah, he's just being banged through, uh, yeah, from two two sides here. And we have Snake, yeah, T uh, TWBFC taking down Snake. And completely uh, surrounded, completely shut out. Yeah, and there totally. is a round now on the board for Barrage. Sandwiched. Much better way. defense that time around. The Romans were far more impactful. Did totally. not get found or shot anywhere near as hard. Exactly. There was also a very weird decision making on the side of Infused. So yeah, Wine Cellar, Snowball Garage, Infused. What do you think? They like to play a little bit more static and this is a bomb site which definitely leads itself to that. Question is though, how did Barrage come for an attack on this? They are bringing Thermite to the table. Now there are of course two important walls that can be Thermite here, whether it be the garage or whether it be the backside from the main the cellar, and they do have a Blackbeard, something that Infuse haven't been running themselves so much. So in a Blackbeard here in the main garage, firing through this corridor again to a Thermited wall could do a lot of damage if that's the attack they choose to come from, and we saw it before. It's very good to counter out rumors that are sent around the rest of the map if you push in from that location and then just watch this stairs and watch this trap door as the flank locations. Even more important, if Infused break this trap door or not before they get underway, we'll find out. Exactly. Or if you get actually the chance of killing the lurker, the one lurker or two lurkers, where are they? I mean, if they're two lurkers, you already have a very, very good chance of winning this. If you're not winning this at a certain position, it's against, again, a positioning or team play, which failed at a certain point. But if you actually take the lurker down, you can also go onto totally like uh, onto the snowball body rash bomb spot. Or if you shut him down, because of an angle which you can hold, you can also totally go for this noble by garage, which I've seen already. That there are good executes for that. You can come from the back stairs, you can come uh, from the garage, uh, from directly from the garage, and you can still have termite actually open in the wine cellar. Have uh, Blackbeard just aiming inside, have the rotation covered, and the other four going for it onto the bomb site, which can work. So, Wizkid drones Webster off the top floor, and then 
he will find a couple more drones downstairs and forced into the dining room. Anubis is above the trapdoor to the main garage to check in the cameras. Webster will likely be the first target for CS unless they do, as we said, push from the garage and just watch the stairs that will come around and flank them. TWBFC, where are you going to set your drone work? You're going to push in towards the objectives down this Bomb corridor. Lead the way and check what he can. He's got many other a teammate in that location with him. Anubis still down there below. Check in the cameras as Death Hulk tries to throw a grenade in towards the main stairs and does clear out the barbed wire. You know where he is coming from, but he is also there just as a distraction. While well, the main force is coming from the backside. Webster has been spotted on the drone upstairs in dining room and will be watched behind them, though Anubis is still waiting. Webster's just holding a tight angle. Why are you going up for this, TW? Yes, you spotted him, and he was not aware of it, but just wait for him to come down and put pressure on the other side. Going to give it a go. Look, he takes the first shot without dealing any damage. And now you're exposed and cut off from your team. It's probably because he thinks he's Blackbeard, and he, gets, he cannot get any chances of being hit. And he has su such a good position here, he can just wait for them to come. Here goes Anubis, breaks the trap door, doesn't quite see Whisker get out, and that will actually stop Anubis dropping down through that hole. So a small win here for the defending squad, uh, the attacking squad. Still holding firm upstairs, but 45 seconds on the clock. TW is now back in the safer spot on the stairs, so can just hold here while the rest of his team are pushing in. Death are coming down the front stairs being a nuisance while Weingum blown open this wall. Sprint straight on in, does get across towards where he wants to plant and gets survives in it, taking down optics and begins to plant. Sledge is taken out the front side by Webster as he tries to flank on around. And now the cover is coming in from Wizkid as he tries to stop Snake peeking out to the planter. Will lose his life for it, but the plant has gone down. Upstairs, two people dead. One of them is Pulse, one of them is Webster. Weingum has been downed right next to the diffuser though, so there's only three, two attackers left standing. Wizkid cannot prone safely behind that box and will be taken out with ease by Snake. And now it is all on Blackbeard to find three. He has got eyes on where the diffuser is though. Webster. Down on this floor now with him. Snake goes down first and he peeks out into the next two. Did not require an extra peek. And Webster punishes him for it. He shouldn't have been peeking. He could have still gotten into the corner and wait for them to come because still they have to push him. And aggressiveness in this position is just the wrong idea because they are all on point and they're watching the entrance. And they're watching the way actually where the attacker yeah, sees the, uh, the, the diffuser first. And... Uh, why? You just need to kill the diffuser and, well, the guy actually who's diffusing the diffuser or kill, destroying the diffuser and then go again, wait for the next one. Even if he's cornered like this, he could have gone onto the stairs and onto an angle again, which is more surprising and still go away, go away, go away. So he's, he could have bought way more time. So, either way, Infused grab themselves around number three and are now back onto a tap. It is time for Barrage to push down onto that basement level, the Snowmobile and Wine Cellar for their defense. They're bringing a mute to the table for a slight change of pace. That's going to be interesting. Let's see how they choose to use him and what setup they have with it. I also had a talk today with a friend about Mute, Defenders and I think Mute still can be attackers. played, and he's a very viable pick if you are more active with the uh, with the with the uh, Mute devices, signal disruptors. Because if you actually you can destroy the whole droning phase, and even after the whole droning phase, you can destroy the lurking part because you can just um, yeah mute yourself in sort of, and they know you're in a certain area but not pinpoint you, or your friend which is actually still with you and they don't know how much they are inside so uh, it can be played way more active like taking it going away like sort of having an area which is undetectable for the opponent so we'll see. here is the defensive setup then for barrage they have set up batteries on the garage door and whisker will now head to the back alley with his barbed wire most of his team all staying actually very much down and inside the bomb sites and objectives. Apart from TWBFC, who has made his way up top towards the kitchen. He's going to be greeted by Smitch's drone. He hasn't seen it himself yet. Picks around towards the main entranceway, which is open, and immediately decides to turn and run. It's not a fight he wants to take against assault rifles with ACOGs. Does find Smitch's drone there and kill it off. 
that now knows that he has been locked and well there's a player on either doorway now there was also Blackbeard so uh, having Blackbeard and I think that was Thatcher right so Blackbeard and Thatcher in this combination you don't want to face so stuck in the kitchen then for a little while he is are if he's going to do anything about moving him from here or are they just going to leave him locked in there for a while we'll find out because right now they're actually pushing him around underneath him one man spraying through the kitchen windows and TW is just patiently waiting He's doing everything all right, even though he's, he's been spotted or he knows that there are two guys out there, he's, I think he's still in the advantage because he's just on a position where he can flank very good. And we've seen him flank very good. Sensor activated. So now Snake going, he's going for the wine cellar for the flanking, uh, he, yeah, for the flanking side, which is uh, more or less the homeowner. So um, he's going to probably open it up soon. Or is there a mute device? Is there a signal No, nope, no, nope. he's no, just he's holding it for a minute or okay. two. He's, he's, he's holding it, yeah, okay. There we go, blows it and then comes around to this other wall so he can immediately place and blow this one as well. So they get complete control over these two entranceways. Snitch backs out just at the last second then. Winecom is holding his angle tight. Behind the shield, though. There we go, reveals his head as he stands up and shoots that brief case, but that gives Snitch a free kill because, lol, Blackbeard. Winecom goes down. Whips are droning on in there. They do now know there's one man in the mini little cellar to the left, and it is with Kid. He's now pushing on out. He's going to see Snake and down him with the diffuser. Looks for the buck and gets that kill as well. Buck missing a lot of important shots, and Wizkid is out and safe. So nice by Wizkid here. Nice. TW there looks to move, but Anubis was waiting for him, and that, that flank shut down. Didn't quite time it right. Needed to come at the same time as Wizkid, not after Wizkid. Whisker though also trying to do the same thing, being chased away by Anubis. So even though Whisker grabbed two kills, there is not a lot of health left on the defending players here. Detol locked inside the B bomb site now has infused pressuring from the back. Let's get prone behind the little wine shelf. Smitch is cautious by going into plant because of this. Whiskers come back downstairs inside the site. And there we go. Gets a shot onto Whisker, but now Whiskid is trying to fire onto the planter. Missing a lot of his shots though, and then will be taken out from range. Smitch is just going to hold the plant. Anubis takes down Whiskid. Now it is all on Detol and his mute. Three players to find, and Webster will pistol him to say nope. And secure round number four for Infused. Well played here. Uh, Infused doing it so good. I was like, when you pick the <laughs> when he picked the uh, diffuser I was like oh my god there's someone next to you but yeah that one got taken care of so um the positioning the execution was uh well done and we're going into map point here for infuse actually and they're dominating right now they're dominating barrage yeah they got their groove etched out Totally. And they're in it comfortably, and now they're onto the kitchen trophy room, which is a site which Barrage have had real issues with the entire game. Even after actually the the totally uh, yeah the very good flank from Whiskid taking down Buck and Termite, if I'm not wrong, that was that was a great just a great double kill, and uh, yeah, I mean even after that, that was kind of that was hard and then they lost so much hp they were in 3v3 but if you count the hp it was like Defender one and a half against three so uh that's really that was a that was the point actually where it got really close and after the plant actually with those two low hp they would have been on point with the aim and doing all the headshots and uh, but uh yeah i mean we saw the first kill on jaeger actually that was just a spray kill just spraying in, getting the kill. So um, yeah, with those low HP, it's really, really getting harder. So kitchen turf room now for infused, and we are into map point here for in, yeah, in favor of infused. And um, yeah, there was Valkyrie actually placing a black eye right above the main entrance of uh, yeah of the building of the chalet. I think it's in France, right? Yeah, it's in France. Yes. Which I'm told we're butchering the pronunciation of chalet every time we do it. What, what, what's the right pronunciation? I have no idea. That's what I mean. I've been told chalet? by French players that we've been butchering every time, but then they wouldn't tell me what the right pronunciation is. So it's going to keep being this until then. Okay, then someone please tweet the right pronunciation to me so we do it right. <laughs> That's a problem for another day is right now the infused defense is back on. And with 30 seconds already off this round, Barrage are getting inside with their first few drones and first few pushes. Well, that drone was wrapping. It was like headbanging or something. 
Death time has a turn at the top of these stairs, which is for letting him know it's safe to peek around. TW now. Turn in the game room to check in every little corner. There's no reason to let someone slip through and hiding in a sus unsuspecting spot. Deto begins to crack holes in the floor above with his new improved hammer. Well, Whiskers is finally going to push in through the main garage and probably start to pressure underneath the uh, trophy room site like he did before. But Anubis with a good C4 from underneath has taken down Wine Gum and that's Thermite gone, but. At the same time, Deto trades out Snake, and they've taken down the defender that is inside the trophy room bomb site itself. Anubis has had to go and replace him, and is now heartbeat censoring up. Isn't careful of down again, though. Not quite the right grenade coming out from Whiskers this time around, but it's still just a little bit of damage to the floor. More coming in, and they're still very close to Anubis, and he's got to be careful. TWBSC taking down Webster Blackbeard once again, used to pick off the Romers with their late flanks. Anubis is now right on the edge and doesn't quite get seen by Willis thanks to the marks on the floor. These shots are again so very close to Pulse, some of them even tagging him. And there we go, realizes he's hitting him now and he's incredibly low, down to less than 5 HP. Anubis will drop through the trap door, but Buck was ready for him. Whisker already having checked that out, knew that's where he was heading and was ready to finish him off as he fell down through and it's looking like Infused. Gonna have to play out one more round here. TWBFC just captures a glimpse of Smitch. Smitch manages to get to hide as he sees the shield and knows he can't win that fight. Optics now underneath the trapdoor in Kitchen, waiting for someone to drop from there, but it's not gonna happen. It's 30 seconds on the clock. Infused and still got a strength and possibility here. So we see Sled dropping into Kitchen. The shots will miss a lot from Smitch, but do land when it counts. Now TW looking to come in through the main entrance. Willis is there with him and they are in a very tight spot because of the barbed wire at 17 seconds. Optics now leaping across to the other side, waiting to push them forwards. 10 seconds to go. Good crossfire here from Infused. Optics holding one, Smitch holding the other bomb site. Here comes Willis rushing through. They get two with ease. Optics picking him up and suddenly it's only Blackbeard standing. He's in the dining room and doesn't have the time. And Infused in a 2v4 situation still managed to hold on and win map number one, five rounds to one. Oh my God. That was such a great play by Infuse. Those two were just playing it for time and positioning and the game read, that was just very well played. And the timing and everything, that was just great to see. Literally, I mean, that they moved from the dining room into uh, into the kitchen, like, uh, uh, who was it? That was Anubis, no, Anubis was down. Who was actually one from dining room to kitchen through the, through the uh, um, trophy room. And then the other one actually just went to the kitchen. And uh, so they had such a great momentum build up and with the barbed wire and everything which was just in favor of them they they used it and yeah they crossfired them and then the shotgun it was right into the face the bait came they came boom dead and look at smitch another level like you you peek around that corner you see the edge of blackbeard's shield most people will be tempted oh i know it's blackbeard i can just peek out shoot low get it not always going to work, regularly doesn't. Instead of trying that, instead of thinking you can pull it off, just go into hiding, sit down, you're already 4v2, wait for him, make them burn the time, there's already exactly. barbed wire. Like, rather than thinking, I've seen him, I've got the idea, drop just the patience and the presence of mind it takes to think, actually this isn't the fight I want to take. Exactly. In a situation like that, when you're down, the time's low and you're hard on players, it's impressive all the same. And well, Infuse here in a couple of situations where they were massively disadvantaged in players, just playing so tight, playing so close together and able to turn situations on their head once again, earn that victory with every single bit of blood, sweat and tears that was expected. Totally, that was just uh, well played. And the mindset, the, the, the right controlled mindset by uh, Smitch, at this point where you actually said, I think that was also the point where they won the round because he knew where Blackbeard is. He knew it, he also knew there's a uh, barbed wire. And if he actually wants to pick me, I hear him and I can go. So uh, yeah, that was just uh, well played. And also then by Frost, the, the shotgun, the double shotgun kill and Blackbeard actually rotated over. Yeah. That was just, even even though if there would be Blackbeard, I mean, he, he two shot at them, two guys, and the, he how much does he have left, five? Yes, there's five rounds left. Blackbeard, yes, he's <laughs> so, way up in dining was, room, but he's that got was no just, room to get to the bomb site there. Yeah, and that was just uh, well played, also on timing. That they actually, after the two kills, they fall back. Yep. Even though it's just one player left, yeah, fall back. Why not? Yeah. Why? Why he's still got to come up plant. Chance? Yeah, and we saw the Diga kill. I mean, it's possible. Yep. But ultimately, that was map one done and 
dusted. Yep. Infused then. Five rounds for one. Definitely back into their old stride here. And we see IQ. Now it's the time table. for <laughs> Canal with exactly what we said. It had started to fall out of the meta. Kitchen projector room. First selection from Barrage. Sorry, Barrage. So we'll see what they do with this middle bomb site. And yes, as you say, IQ brought to the table something which is actually not too surprising on Canal. We've seen a few teams do it because you need that extra three mobility from Ash and IQ to combined clean out that red brick building quickly. Make sure that it's safe because of the way this map is almost two mini maps. Exactly. Clean that out very fast, then get across the other building while everyone else is still there and droning and whatever for you, with plenty of time left to then actually properly clear and take control of that second building as well. So we'll see whether there's that. We've also seen some teams just leave one person to do that and then the other one. So Ash will do that and then IQ will do the other building. Or oh, which one will they do the other? But yes, having those two high mobility operators is important for getting those early room control and map control. Exactly. Also, exactly. the ability okay. from uh, IQ gives them against Valkyrie because on this map, vision is key. I mean, getting the black eyes with the, uh, yeah, hunted down with IQ is is very good because you cannot kill them with Thatcher. You need Thatcher. If you wouldn't want to actually play Thatcher on this map, you really need him to cover your entrance. And right now, they don't have a Thatcher, so it will be really hard for them to get into the, uh, uh, well, not here. So, um, okay, in this case, yeah. So, but if there would be server room control room, in this case, it, they will would have a very hard entrance. But still, um, as you said, also, the speed is a key on this map because you need to clear the other building. Let's call it the other building. And uh, because it, could, it depends on, on where you spawn, actually. And the other thing is still is that server room control room on this map is also key to actually take projector and kitchen. It's, so again, we have vertical gameplay here. And as we see, we have, uh, yeah, TWBFC covering the control room. And there's a lot of barbed wire also going down on the, uh, on the uh, server room. Yeah, on the floor above, helping him out, slowing down them coming through. Here we go, Anubis then has some drones and will be inside the rubber building very quickly to clean that out himself with the drones to help him. Once again, begins to move through and check all the rooms, check all the corners as quick as he can. While the drones are on the other buildings and well, Switch is coming to help him. Snake is doing the floor below. Optics is starting on the bottom of the objective side and heading his way up into that building. But once he knows this is safe, he will go in manually. Meanwhile, Webster has come to join Anubis and the pair of them will head across the bridge. But first, they have to go through some barbed wire. Cautious of who may be clo close. That's on Whiskey are close, they're on the stairs. Yeah. But it's also always funny to see when you when you're actually in the vision of a of a player. And there we go, there's the first engagement and Ditto actually gets injured but takes down uh Webster. So there we have the opening kill for Barrage here. And uh, yeah, as Anubis actually tried to get the refrag done, he had yeah, he didn't have that much of a chance, but yeah, there's the grenade. Fun optics taking down Ditto and Whiskid. Uh, yeah, he's still covering the stairs as he know, now knows I think, that there's Anubis and they now open the dropper into the CCTV room here. He has to fall back a bit deeper yeah. but also his entire presence is still there as a threat for the attacking team. So they have to decide, are they going to deal with him or are they going to wait for him to flank and be ready for it? Which to be fair is not an easy task on this map. There's a lot of very powerful flank positions for Wizkid to still come from. Yeah, and there's not much room actually for IQ uh, uh, to 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 walk to work with. I mean, he has he has no angle, and there is a nice headshot from Smitch onto TWBFC. Executed. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was just a fast clicking away here. So now they have actually the stairs under control, and with that, the server room control room, and he got flashed away. Team so, flashed, yeah. So right now, yeah, Whiskid actually he went back in. Cool. He's gone back down the yeah. stairs, he's now inside the map room doorway. Does catch on the heartbeat sensor a couple of players above him. Yeah, and that is the point now where he's really going to have troubles because they have now the vertical game plan. They can come from the stairs and they can come from so many angles right now onto the uh, yeah, projector room. As now Whiskit is trying to get them from behind. He's going for the flank here. He's going the long way around. Yeah, he's we'll drop going down into over the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Anubis was there, but now he calls to go down the other side. And well, the defenders have already won as time is up. They tried to drop in above the A site, but Smitch was under there with a shotgun, which did the damage to the first couple of droppers that was needed.
as it is here. We did see Barrage begin their campaign by defending the middle bomb site, the map room, or the projector room rather, and the kitchen. And well, Infuse choosing to go back to the more traditional server control room top floor site as their first option. Something we've seen a lot of teams not do anywhere near as much these days as they did back in the old days, both on PC and on Xbox, is use that thermi wall. It's often being left intact these days and people are choosing to push from the insides and repel on the windows instead of pressuring that location quite so heavily. Yeah, it's um, um, since I, I, what I've seen myself, for example, um, um, that many players actually tend to be backstepped on this, um, on this big outside wall upstairs. They are being backstepped from the canal building, uh, from the soul building, I think the second one. That uh, people prepare those buildings, have a roamer going over there, already tearing down the, the barricade, opening the window, without actually having something, because Attack then you can silent okay, drop outside and, and flank them. And uh, yeah, if you have like three guys there, they will be three shots and three kills. So that's a kind of dangerous one, but still, it takes away angle. So it's a kind of weight. What I've seen also lately is many B pushes. Yep. Like B As is I mean, so you, fast. You'll often get people on the red brick roof firing yeah. through the A windows to shoot anyone going to connector. And the majority of the pressure comes onto B yeah. through all the windows because it's so easy to empty that room out when you've got a person on every window. And then eventually they'll blow open the thermite walls, but it's not the focus of the round like exactly. it used to be. Totally yeah, not. And uh, many times you see actually ash on the on the on the red um, yeah on the on the other building and opening. W with the breaching rounds, also opening vaults, which are not to be opened. So um, that there's a very good sniping position at first, and <laughs> so now we see the black eye being thrown out. And that's Coming kind of different spots here from Infused that will provide similar sort of vision, but it's nice to see teams innovating and using slightly different spots so their cameras are not so instantly killed off. Yeah, as that uh, worried might start becoming the norm. People think, ah. Valkyrie won't be so strong, she won't be so strong. People will just like get the standard spots, research a team and just kill them off with ease. But um, everyone's starting to get a plethora of different locations they can put these cameras in. And right now from that we saw what actually uh, uh, a wall, um, an open barricade could cause. He wasted 10 seconds just to watch one window. However, Ten seconds. he was ready for that camera placement and did yeah. kill it straight away under that boat without it actually being turned on or spotted or anything. So. Barrage on point, knowing infused spots there. He also begins to repel until he realizes he's been spotted again by another camera. Spins around and kills that with ease, and suddenly the outside vision for infused is starting to vanish and disappear. With Skid finding Jaeger then pinned off onto one wall. TWBFC is actually coming up nice and close, and as we mentioned, pressuring these B windows, which is a spot which Blackbeard can do all day. And Blackbeard, exactly. This is actually the, the point for Blackbeard, the B bomb site, where he has vision, where he can use his uh, shield to the advantage, and um, he has everything which it needs, actually, to take the B bomb site. His shield and everything is, is totally in favor of taking this. He can peek like from left to right, he can peek from uh, bottom up, he can do so much on this point. Castle then drops through the floor to try and deal with the barrage push from underneath. But and he's killed off with ease, dropping in through is always a dangerous play, but a snake now sitting right by this window where TW is sitting. Isn't ready to peek out into him though. Needs to be cautious of course of that shield being there, but now here's him go around to the other side. Still also holding the top of this stairwell. Having lost a player already, Infuser looking to play very cautiously. Doesn't hear him go onto his drone, otherwise it could be a nice easy jump out the window, but now Dettel is in this corridor, he heard him, but sees the drone in the barbed wire, then he's ready, taking down Sledge quickly and easily and evening out the numbers to 4v4. Wizkid still on the floor below though, looking to come up, has to bow the barbed wire himself though. Webster taken out with a pistol by Willis. And again the push comes forward, camera still alive at the top of the stairs, but he's killed out as soon as Willis comes up. Willis does survive the first peek from Snake and it will not let him re-peek a second time round. That is... Frost down and out. Only two defenders left up. One is at the back of the control room, but is not alive for long. And well, while he does take down Winegum, Wizkid immediately trades out the final kill onto Valkyrie. And Barrage have some fantastic aim. They are doing so good. The execution was working like a charm. I mean, even with the sacrifice of... Uh, of uh, no, that wasn't Ash. Who actually died there? That was Sledge, was it? 
I think Which that one? was Sledge. The Sledge. first guy to peek in? Yeah, yeah Sledge. Yeah. Day. That, yeah. that was Sledge. That, were, that one got killed. So the information came. Okay, careful. There's uh, there's frost on the on the on the floor. I mean, they already knew. So after the drones were dead, they they maybe thought, okay, he's 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 walking away. But still, everything was covered. There was um, uh, TWBFC covering uh, the back with uh, Blackbeard. So that angle, he could not retreat. He could not do anything. So in this case, it was it was such a good job, and they were defending it in a very very good way. Yeah. Uh, oh, I mean attacking him. Sorry, yes. that was my bad. Yes. Attackers need to learn. They came in such a set, such a way that they were never exposed to more than one person at a time, and they were always ready for that one person. Well, sneak screwing up that shot onto Black uh, Buck on the stairs would have been an important factor in it. To be fair. If killed Buck, he's doing a very good spot to get the rest of them, but him going down really opened up that bomb site for the push by Barrage. And well, that's good. Barrage up two rounds to zero. Ten seconds left before it's right now they're on the track to force a draw here, but it's still very early days. Infuse have Five plenty of chance to pull off a successful attack and turn around here. They are now attacking the top floor bomb sites themselves, of course. Barrage setting up a couple of players on the floor below Death Toll. Valkyrie were down there. Valkyrie actually yeah. even further down, sitting right in the basement. With their garage set up, putting cameras in place before heading on up. Detolo staying on this floor and watching by the models as the drones swarm around it. That's a very good position now. Drones continue to come in. Detolo just about hides his head there while being on his cameras. Smitch will continue to drain the map room and get as much information about this floor as they can. I still didn't see Dittol there. Oh my god, even with the jump, he didn't. He, he doesn't know that, that he's there. I mean, they have suspicion, right? They've seen him already, and now that they know he's not fallen back into any of these rooms, there are a few places that he could go. Didn't I mean, just get the shout that he ran back into here. He was spotted as he fell off, or fell back, rather. No, they been found. There we have Anubis. Anubis right is doing on hard. the window next to him. Flashbangers are coming in. Webster are pushing forward. Anubis still flashing on in. It's now going to go straight on inside as Optics is also in the far end. It's all going to smoke it out as Mitch's drone is still chasing him up that far end of the room. Waiting for the smoke to time off. Back and left. The shots are dancing off his kneecaps. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that was such a good spray down here. And this Mitch. Oh my god, the drone is still alive. Yeah, the drone still knows where he is. Dettol dancing left and right in fear. Does expose himself again to Anubis and he's so incredibly low. Last flashbang will come in. Now's the push. Dettol pinned around the corner. That's easy, there easy kill for Anubis. Upstairs as well, Pulse is incredibly low and has just been downed and revived here by Jaeger. TWBC getting him 350 health back. Webster was the man underneath doing most of the damage to that pulse, which has asked the thermite open that wall with a minute left on the clock. Nubis come back outside. Optics is still watching the bottom of the staircase. He's holding this very, very tight angle in case anyone chooses to peek it, but they are wisely not. There's only one. There's only one minute left. It's like 53 seconds. That's not, that's not much actually to e execute on the bomb side to get a proper plan done. It is if they know where the defenders are. So let's see if they do. Smitch up to the window to watch the backside of this. Does take a rattling off the shield and take a little bit of a tag, but has now locked Jaeger tight to the left hand side. But Jaeger's still got a good amount of vision. Flashbang will go in, looks towards the connector. It's been blown open, so he can actually see the Rook on the far side. If Rook reveals himself, he does see him there. Playing with fire with these shots back and forth, and now that gives Jaeger a chance to spray at him again. There's also still a camera, you can see it right in front of him, but he's going to go in with the flashbang going off. Rook sees him coming in, it's a free kill. Dermite is up on that window as well, though, and he's the man with the diffuser. And at 15 seconds left, he cannot get in through there. Webster pushes in through the hole that he made and is easily killed off by the shotgun around one corner. TW is holding in, and now it's just Optics looking here to defend the diffuser. The diffuser will get dropped, and now it is Optics on his own. And that is not going to happen. TW with a final double kill to secure another round for Barrage. And once again, Infused have some real pacing issues getting this bomb down before the timer hits zero. I mean, going into the... I, I, I don't get over this. Blackbeard is jumping in and reloading at the same time. Yep. What? Yeah, no, that was uh, an interesting button press, that's for sure. That was totally... That was, that, that was probably like some excitement pressure. I don't know. That was That was totally wrong. He shouldn't have done this. But again, there was not much time, and I mean, they knew more or less the positioning, but the positioning from uh, from Barrage was superior. 
They they just even even again they fall back behind uh who was who was it? Oh, was, that was TWBFC I think with Jaeger? Yep. Yeah. Oh, he fell back. He stayed there because he knew I'm baiting I'm baiting Blackbeard. As soon as that flashbang came in, he gave the call out. It's coming in, it's coming it in. Rook exactly. gets a free peek, and sure enough. Exactly. And reload. Your bomb. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, yes, it's rare to get a shot while you're rappelling in, whether it be aimed down sight <laughs> or uh, with your uh, hip fire, but it's even rarer to ever get a kill while you're reloading. Shocker. <laughs> it's impossible. So. No, really? Yeah. Let's see. But it's now. Infused once again, looking to hold on for their life. They are now down three rounds and are defending this top floor once more. Yet to successfully do it because they got singled out one by one, picked off by the barrage push. Five seconds yeah. remaining. Actually, that was also Snakes doing. He got. He, got, actually, he was. The, you know, he was actually. He was a bit cornered in this attack, but he took down Sledge. But yeah, then he couldn't capitalize on the on the kill. I think on Buck, which came upstairs in the last round when they attacked them, when they defended this uh, server room control room the last time. So that yeah. kill could have changed so much because then he could have walked all the way to the stairs and uh, had had a flank on 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 Ash. I think Ash was also no Ash was coming through the uh, termite wall. No. But either way, we don't have to swivel around yeah. to Ash. We got the first one. But here we go. Mirage pushing forward then. Cameras being picked off and a couple of windows being cracked open to force Infuse back into a more defensive position inside this building. A few drones being thrown. Detal knows that camera spot. Down and out. Killed it up twice in a row. Nice and easy. Looks for the next one. It's not quite where it was before. It's going to be out there somewhere though. And there we go. Spots it. It's all the outside cameras dead now, I believe. All the Valkyrie ones anyway. Last time around, they forgot the non-Valkyrie ones. Time to ring some ears. Drone activated. And so far, Mirage are pushing in quite quickly. Minute and a half on the clock, and they're now starting to put some pressure on the floors above. Optics taking a lot of damage from the man that's prone on the sky bridge when he takes that peak, but still managed to get Death Toll down and out alive. C falls out through the gap, doesn't touch anyone though. Oh, that was a straight goal there. Yeah. Anubis though finishes off Wizkid downstairs, so the ash is down. Death Toll cannot prone his way to Wine Gum for the revive here, or at least not safely, he thinks. He's going to give it a go though. Gets stuck on the ledge and taken out by Optics Deagle, that's exactly why he was hiding. Down he goes, and it is now 5v3. Attacking team, this time not looking so hot. Mirage need to make something work here. Well, at the moment, it's Buck pushing in. He's found Webster. Who's going to win this firefight? It's not going to be Willis with aim like that right now. He needs to get this a bit more in tight. Webster proning in behind the block. The grenade's going to come out, go up and over. Bounces back at him and has to run away from it, which exposes himself to Webster's gun. Down he goes. First kill then for the attacking team. TWFC gets it onto Smitch. It is still Blackbeard standing, which is a lot of work. But Snake now is spotted. Snake will go down. Optics is right around the corner, though. Has a shotgun of his own. The plant's coming out. He's going to take down Webster, too. Needs to look for the next man, but it's not ready for it. And the plant will be finished off by Optics with the shotgun for a double kill. That is round number one for Infused here. It is. Finally a round on the board for Infused. Yeah. I'm not entirely same. sure why Blackbeard didn't spin around to that left. I mean, very obvious that you've killed two people in that corridor. The chance of a third one coming that way are incredibly low. Next man's gonna come from your left. He kinda has to. And he's done it every round you tried before. Just yeah. swing your gun around to the corner. Yes, you didn't have much ammo left, but there's a chance. It, it is. Yeah, that, it that's matter. right. But I think uh, also the thing is, after the two kills, he was about to actually go to the left. But yeah, the time was up because then actually Valkyrie came. So. The spinning takes time, I think. So uh, I think that was also some. I mean, still there were two people, so one guy could have just checked this corner all the way. Either way, <coughs> does not matter as far as Infuse is concerned. They're on the board. Three rounds to one, then. Yep. This round again is also crucial because after, if who, if actually Barrage wins this round, they get into map point, and. Uh, Defenders, That's the pressure point. Either you crack because you can win it, so you have a problem closing it down, 
or the opponent's team crack because they are like, oh my god, we have to win this. Yeah, you're right. This round will put match point in the hands of Barrage. So, I'm interested to. Um, okay, so it seems. Bomb located by attackers. Barrage. They are not actively defending it that much upstairs in the control room. Control room. Everyone Five came down left. so far, no. TWBFC is going up. Attackers have recovered their Stackers objective and we have Ditto going up bomb. and Whisket also going up. So they're uh, heavily uh, defending onto the server room control room. Have they reinforced? Yeah, they also reinforced the server. That's, that's <laughs> We've seen a couple of teams not reinforce those and actually shotgun them open to give themselves an escape route down if they get pushed off these top yeah. floors, but it very quickly results in them running down through there in fear, giving up the floors above, yeah. and then being pinned into the bomb site below with the exactly. trap doors open and just getting easily killed. So I do prefer seeing them reinforced, but there's a a, some located. teams that attempt to not do so. Yep. We'll see there. As it is infused once again running the double three speeds, starting to drone on inside and find a couple of hiding defenders. Smitch once more repelling onto the windows and doing what he can to try and make an opening. They already know Valkyrie is right behind the window he was on though, so he has to be incredibly cautious. Because having a shotgun at that range can sometimes work against the Blackbeard Shield. Very few things that can work against the Blackbeard Shield. That's one of them. And yeah. there we go, perfect grenade up underneath. Will down wine gum. Next one doesn't finish him off, but still takes him low and optics will shock on him down instead. That's what he was waiting for and it's perfectly executed. They've done that a couple of times now, infused with their buck. There's from below grenades, perfectly timed. Now they have control. Also the angles. They yeah. have the crossfire set up and there's actually literally no one that can come through there. And uh, webs are taken down TWBFC here. As oh Whisker Willis! This Willis grabs one and is the diffuser onto IQ. Takes a tag here from Blackbeard and runs away to safety. He's incredibly low health from it, but it's Blackbeard, so he's completely okay with his health and that one shot to his name. Death has come downstairs, and now we see Wizkid trying to flank from the sky bridge, but doesn't do the damage needed in time and is down for his trouble. They're not going to be able to finish him off now. Willis goes in, and this time he's not reloading, and sure enough, Smitch gets the kill onto Whiskers. This is a much better infused squad. Detail's the last man standing with any health to his name. He does get out and get the revive though onto Wiz. Wiz now with C4. Can't get it around the corner in time. Optics takes Detail down and while he's trying to pick up his C4, Webster peeks him for the kill and infused. Starting to break the camel's back. Get back on in here. Nice that is behind. three to two. Now infused coming back. That would be an incredible comeback here. Yeah. In our other off-stream game, just a quick update, Supremacy won the first map five rounds to three. So another one of our Season 1 squads that have a long, powerful history behind them are successfully winning their game. But they are going to head on to map number two before we get the final result there, of course. As we get that, we will feed it to you. And on top of that, we will hopefully have it finished off before this game is done and get you a complete standings update for the end of the show, if possible. But we will wait and see whether that's the case because right now we are so very close to getting done here if Barrage can, can turn this back around and get it back in their hands yeah kitchen rooms uh, projector room for infuse now as so they uh, yeah successfully did they Attackers they, they defended it defend no they bomb. didn't uh, they no infuse hadn't successfully defended no, this room yet they, didn't, they no. defended upstairs and then they attacked upstairs yeah. this is oh, sorry attacked this floor now it's their first chance to defend this one attackers have located a bomb. I think yeah they, they they also lost it on this one I think they got totally overrun by uh, Barrage. I don't know. Well, this is going to be really interesting because um, yeah Many teams depend, they, they either defend it ups from upstairs or from downstairs. Also what's kind of interesting is that sometimes they actually put a lurker onto the other building. Because this one already is hard enough to attack because of the like two floors which you have to cover. Yep. And um, yeah, well, from interesting, the other are only putting the one player upstairs. They have reinforced two trapdoors and they have given him a drop down in towards model, but 
until... Well, boss is not coming up to join him. Also, I think this one here, uh, the, the end there we see actually, it's uh, the, the dropper has been opened up, so... Let the turn my wall next to the turn my wall. They're going to, uh, yeah, there's a death, ho death hole. Deploying heartbeat sensor. So right now, we see a barrage attacking onto the kitchen uh, projector room. And uh, they're right now searching for the first uh, infused members on the top floor as there is Anubis with his bolts there and tagging and tagging the toll here down to probably one HP and there he's falling down and yeah so he can be <coughs> revived by Ash. Yep. Jumps and off so Ash can give a revive from his one yep. HP. He's very lucky to be alive but yeah. takes it out now. Now we've got TWBFC on these same windows that Smitch did work from earlier on. He's now trying to hold that same cross angle from the safety of here. Upstairs, that wall having been opened up means we've fell back into server and Anubis has gone down downstairs, right underneath everyone. Whisker still looking to come across from the other building and Whiskit is still droning to tell him it's safe to get across that bridge as Winegum is also joining her on those windows. But Anubis is still in a very, very good position there. He is in a good position to wing no, towards the kitchen yeah, entrance. Knowing that the push from Barrage is all coming from that far side, he gets towards this end. We'll still be able to flank around as Winegum and Whiskid go in towards the model room. Deathwall's drone killed off. He doesn't want to go inside kitchen, but he's cautious of where it is he is going to hold. No, he should just go out. in front. He should just not go inside, just go there. Cranks open a couple of doors, makes him think he might have repositioned. He's just holding here now, despite this is being where he droned. Winegum has come inside now. Inside the little CCTV room. He's heading upstairs. Goes outside, in through the wall. They thermotate. He's now above a couple of them. Looking for that man repelling. He's not there. Still now above this trap door. Looking for them. They've already taken down TWBFC on the windows. So that is the big scary Blackbeard down. Winegum's revealed and downed with the diffuser. And Anubis is going to be happy with that. Throws a C4 underneath in case someone tries to peek to trade and won't touch anyone. But forces Whiskey to repel up. And Whiskey goes a bit too far. The automated climb. Gives him over to Anubis for free. And infused now. Taking Death Toll down as they try and pressure onto Anubis. It's not going to happen. He's going for the last man now. Follows one more. Dropping on down. Won't see him. He's to his left. Pushing in towards the kitchen. Climb straight inside. And we'll see Smitch, but is also caught out by Valkyrie. Another round then in the board for Infuse. And now we're drawn. Three rounds to yeah. three. Wasn't that the 4K? I think it was, which is why Anubis went so aggressively trying to find yeah. him for the fifth one. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I mean, a 4K already is impressive. And he he played so good. I mean, he fell back when he needed to, and he stayed. Even after the drone actually got him, he stayed on, on his position. In my opinion, he could have been more early aggressive, like going more early onto the stairs, because there was no more drone. So, um, yeah, but 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 he did. He, he just played so good. That was, that was amazing. That was uh, well played there. Also his timing and uh, yeah, that was yep. very good. His movement from kill to kill yep. just constantly put him in a place where he was ready to get the next man and they had just enough let their guard down and just not quite ready for them. But we'll see. But also, Canal is a very hard map to play, either to attack or defend. It's really, it, it takes a lot from the teams, in my opinion, because of the multi-angles you can have. I mean, can. it's also vertical gameplay on this side of the, of the building. It's really hard. So I think also oh, I I think also that um, I think Whiskid came up with Ash, and he yeah committed too much onto the climbing. They should have let them upstairs to be there, or maybe how much time did they have? Like over a minute, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, they could have gotten more safe onto the uh, other building and then the chance of actually having Amy inside the uh, control room instead of going or like yellow up up and. Uh, because they knew he's there. I mean, he killed the guy through the through the dropper, so they knew he's there. Why going up? Because you know that it's so dangerous coming up there. And then a guy with the auto shotgun. He didn't even need to uh, ADS them; just run over. So that's all. First time in this game, we're gonna play in the other building. He's been droned out. Sees that wall broken open. Looks for Webster, who's just out there. Doesn't see him. Finds this window open. It immediately prones to safety. 
very, very cautious of his spot now. He's going to be rushed in as he's trying to shake down the drones. That's meaning he's low and down and out of ammo. Webster downs him for free. Takes the pistol kill. Infuse. Going to take that one. Hand it to them on a silver platter. Barrage looking to try and do something different by playing this building. And he came back and bit them in the backside. That was a very, very, that was very well played by Webster with the combination of the drone. Attackers the opponent was droned and he just came around the corner and just shot him. That was wasting a lot of ammo on that drone. TWBFC will trade back onto Anubis, so give the first kill in this game to Barrage onto the sledge. Is it going to be key though? But now Webster is in a very bad position because he just got like a small angle to work with where he can find opponents from. And if he commits into that, he has three three spots to that can actually shoot at him. Prefires the stairs a little. Oh, kid. He is on there with his heartbeat sensor, and I'm sure Webster's heard it. Yeah, and the thing is, he knows now that he spotted. Wasn't there also a drone? But actually, Webster knows that yeah. Wizkid is so over there, and there's the shotgun kill. There we go. Wizkid reveals himself, and it's a quick and easy execute, but he is very, very low now because of it. Three remaining attacking players left up, and to be fair, Webster going aggressive like that a little bit soon. None of these players could even remotely get close to assisting him. Now Snake finally comes inside to the model. And Web now Wizkid. They're also still very cautious of where Wizkid is. Smitch, though, on the windows, finally now looking in towards where Whisker Willis is. There's a camera watching him though, but Whisker will take down optics as he pushes into the kitchen. Now he pushes out towards the kitchen and well, takes a lot more shots. He's still standing. Let's bring through the other gap. Snake still watching the man above him as he starts to put off the breach charge. DW peeks out and takes down Smitch and now it is all on Snake. He's down and under a lot of different players. Yeah, the termite now. Flashbang into the room, bouncing it up a couple of sides. The shots are coming from the room next to him. Wizkid finds him in the heartbeat center and drops him through the wall to put them back up onto match point. Four rounds to three then in favor of Barrage. They've got to win this unless they want overtime. We will have to do a remake should we go to overtime. Just a heads up, ladies and gentlemen, if that happens. But it all depends on Infused playing this round. If Infused win this round, we'll have overtime. And I think if Barrage win this round, will be done. Yeah, and I think Wizkid actually won the round for uh, for Barrage. Yep, once again, Infuse didn't know how to shake him off those stairs exactly. and didn't know how to play around him while he was on those stairs. And even though he didn't get all the kills, he pushed them into situations where someone else could get that exactly. kill with ease. I Infuse was so focused onto him, but they knew that he's been covered from actually inside the mapping room. So they were like stuck instead of like repositioning and, and totally rotating over to probably to the other bomb site. Why they were just trying to get Whiskit. Like so Attack much focusing onto it. So, onto the top floor bomb site then is Infuse defense, their potential last stand here. Remember Infuse won first map five rounds to one, so if they do win this they'll get three points. But as it stands, the lead is with Barrage and they are still looking to secure one point. I mean, around it Anubis did a lot of work. It would be an incredible comeback here for uh, Infused if they take this now and then go into overtime. That's going to be a really yeah, interesting one. But let's see. Now we see Five Castle closing up the doors, uh, the the windows on the bomb site, forcing the opponent's the utility room. actually to Attackers be used onto those. To locate a bomb and it. So the utility cannot be used to somewhere else. So, here comes the attacking squad downstairs. They've left Optics and Webster. Webster being chased away by Wizkid's drone already. Optics still just placing a couple of cameras, and Webster can't kill this drone, so having issues, and everyone is using it to position around him. Debbie back up to the window, Detal on the far side. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Loading back! That camera again, but it is in a different place now. Yeah, it's similar, it's but it's left. different. Yep. Whiskers then underneath this trapdoor in the model room, looking for someone to drop down through it. 
if it may happen, he's ready for them. Whiskey still droning the rest of this floor to make sure he's not going to get stabbed in the back of the side. TW taking a couple little chinks out of his health. Just cautiously there, opening up his windows and peeking on in at tight angles. They're playing it so safe right now. Do they have, I think they have all, all, all upstairs, aren't they? I don't, I don't see the... Yeah, everyone from Fuse is on the bomb site. Exactly. But this is also a possibility how you want to play this map. Because you don't, you, you don't always need the uh, the lurker. The lurker is a surprise factor, but you can also go with brute force. Castle gets flash while he's behind this, and he does make him put his arm out, and that gives TW the shot. Now his leg's going to stick out. TW doesn't quite see it in time. Could finish Castle off here if he just positions a little bit too much, but he all he has to do is hit very very still. That's such a patient. Barrage here. And, now. and there we have it. There we have it. Can try it in and finish him off, and that gives her down. Castle is still down behind that spot. Yeah. Very good usage of Castle as, as a bait there. Yeah. He is completely down and dead. Webb's now in the connector looking to peek out to try and deal with TWBFC. Won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Executed. Executed. Mitch will get the first kill for the defending Infuse squad though. He takes yeah. down Wine Gum. And it is the Thermite too, so a pretty important kill. But the wall has already been blown open, so it's not too big of a deal. Only two defenders left standing, and there's another big shot lands into the chest of TWBFC. And now with one man left up, Castle crawls away. Optics gets down, but he trades out Whiskers for him before Detto will finish him, and now it is all on Smidge. Ash is down, she had the diffuser and she's in there. Smidge gets Detto as he sprints straight into him. Now it's only Blackbeard standing, he's on the diffuser. Now Infused bringing out a very different attack already here with Anubis on a recruit. So we'll see what it is he is running and why it is they have set him up as such. While our defensive setup here from Barrage is very, very similar to what we're used to seeing. And well, running the kitchen projector room set was their first defense for their first attempt on this map as well. And they won it, so we'll see if they can do that, that again. Once more, though, Smitch running that Blackbeard for Infuse, of course, is the one a shield they are allowed to have. And has been doing quite a bit of good work on it when attacking this bomb site in the last couple of rounds, hanging here on these windows, firing in towards kitchen and taking down some Whiskers Willis right here inside the B doorway on multiple occasions. So we'll see whether or not and he can do that again. He had also very good engagements against the uh, Blackbeard. He either just held him off and then one time actually we saw him Blackbeard repelling in and not reloading. So he was actually shooting and doing damage. But still, that uh, uh, the the way actually it, it Ten seconds yeah, insertion. Whisker Willis was just buying time and being there. I mean, either even Five have the trade or just getting the call. I mean, information is key, and uh, this is Attackers also what team, team comms are for. Attackers so don't scream around in, in your voice or whatever. So let's uh, yeah, pro tip by the way. So how does this attack form? Well, once again, as we just mentioned. I just sat Wizkid here on this stairwell, something which was a real problem for Infused before. Now as it is, Anubis is running Recruit Shotgun, so an FBI Recruit, the M1014, Breach Charge and a Grenade for their attacking Recruit. Something which they have not done at all until now, and well, we'll see what their plan is with it. I suspect this is who they're going to throw at Wizkid, judging from his positioning. But this is something you want to see. I mean, they're adapting. Mm -hmm. They're trying. They're yep. not going for like, oh, let's try the same again. More or less the, the Zizou style, who's just trying again and again until it works. But they're more really focused. Okay, let's, let's try to counter it. Ah, that's a good idea. And I think it's a really good idea because right now he's engaging on close, close angles and he's trying to. Grenade in to see if he can catch out the pushing pulse, but pulse did not push, so the grenade is just wasted. Frost is also in there and just around the corner. They know of this, having droned it, and Webster's droning there again, so they've got to be very, very cautious of this. Now she pushes back and down the stairs, and Snake will scout her with the drone. Anubis, very cautious about where he's going. We've also got Jaeger now on this top floor, prone at the back end of the room, watching the hole that's just been made. Let's get on the stairs, he preaks around the corner, gets Frost, but will he get the second one? No. Inobis gets down, but also gets away to safety until the C4 comes through, and that's going to be a double kill on the C4. 
Webster had also rushed in to try and revive and trade. And Webster goes down to the C4 kill. Wizkid doing work. And yes, you saw the infused try and adapt to deal with him. But that no. C4 was just uh, godly. Perfect play yeah. from Wizkid to stop it. There was. Yeah. I mean, the thing. The, 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 I, yeah. You cannot do anything. I mean, it's it's sort of prediction that you know, okay, there's. Uh, they didn't get uh, a, a pulse down, so there's still. The oh, idea, yes. okay, there's C4. And there's the engagement between uh, TWBFC against Optics, but Optics is croning now, so. But there's little damage exchanged. Yeah, very little damage done at all, to be fair. Optics got lucky to be alive. Snake also dropped down that hole at the perfect moment to stay safe. Snitch. Smitch now coming inside though, still got a shield in front of his face. Optics rushing towards the back of the room. TW stands up and takes his head off. Snake has downstairs killed off Wine Gun, but Whisker will now finish him and is all on Smitch. He's got 30 seconds. He's standing on a C4, but it's not going to be detonated as he pushes in. Whisker Willis is there to put shots into his body and down him out. One round on the board then for Barrage. One round closer to securing a point. That was the revenge kill, by the way. Last yes. time, <laughs> Blackbeam was jumping in and killing Whisker Willis, and now he says, No. I stop here. You die now. That was actually the the game changer here. After actually, I mean, the idea with the with the auto shotgun with the M10 uh, uh, M10 14, that was a very very good idea, and it worked. But <laughs> actually, Whiskit in this position, he was retreating. He wasn't even on the stairs. It was someone else, and then the C4, and it was GG. Taking down two players. I mean, it's a it's like a dream for a C4 throw, getting w more than one. I mean, if you get like three three players with a C4, you're already a cheater. But <laughs> that is so good. I mean, that that was a very good throw. Yep. Really yeah, smart play. So, all right, I've downed the guy. I'll either throw the C4 and just finish off the down guy, or I'll get the guy that's trying to revive him, or I'll get the guy that's trying to rush to kill me in a trade. Perfect. Yeah. Did exactly that. And while, yes, they ran that recruit purposely to try and counter out that man on the stairs, which they knew was going to be there. He was also ready in the uh, play from Barrage was to put two people on there and catch them back by surprise, and it worked. Now Infused then fighting for their life, defending this top floor bomb site. Running three shotguns right now to try and hold it, which hasn't been working out too well for them in the previous couple of rounds. Yeah. Got to do something magic. Last time they, they, they lost the defense here. They did. And that is... Oh, let's not... Uh, yeah. Well, um, but the good thing is they're trying again on this. And maybe they learned. After adapting already onto the uh, onto the stairs situation... I mean, the thing is, on the stairs, I think the, the, the idea with the shotgun recruit is a valid point and they should stick to it because the C4 is just... That was... Yeah. That was working. Maybe a push onto the onto the uh, yeah command stations would have changed a bit, so they had more area instead of like all bunch up onto the onto the room there, or slowing the pace up the first kill because they were like pressuring. They were already like on two minutes here, like they are. So right now we see Snake, Snake covering the server room and uh, looking for the kitchen. So much is not Attackers happening here. The They're more or less waiting. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. They're yeah. right, putting their pressure. And there we go. Right but as soon as he does so, Anubis tries to push out. Will get him as he tries to fade away. That one right. well, Lucky well final done. shot to make that happen. But there's the diffuser also. Yeah, the fuser has been down. They will be able to sneak on in here and revive Thermite if they're lucky. But no, Anubis gets aggressive enough to come out and finish him off again and does secure that round, or that kill, sorry, for his team. That was, a, that was a very risky choice, but yeah, he wanted to be sure. And um, yeah, he took it onto him. And um, yeah, he went out with like nearly half HP, like one third left. Yeah, that's very good. It is successful. Rest of the team now then pushing in through the hole that's been made as a couple of grenades are taken out by trophy systems. TW begins to push on forward. Still cautious though of this hallway to the right hand side and the kill holes that have been made there. Anubis already has been peeking from there a couple of times and Wizkid will give them a bit of breathing room by taking down Webster, but he's taken a lot of damage for his own health. But it's still fair, as also Castle is low and Elizabeth. So 
Attackers right in the back of the room on the rock. On the computer. But optics right. is so close. Oh my god. Activating Just drone. sitting so there dangerous. waiting with that shotgun. Yeah. The drone now is The comes around the corner and does see him there. So he stands up to check the window and just sees a guy vanish away up and above him. Now he's not watching the thermite hole behind him and might be exposed to a push from here. But as he stays prone yeah. under this Second window. Remaining. They're just coming right up close. Actually, see the string from it. And uh, well, the sledge goes right down and underneath him with enough time to spare. But the push forward comes forward towards the wall that's been thermited open. Death all swings inside, does get the kill onto Smitch. But Infused Snake is there to trade him out. And even when, even if he'd survived that, did not have the time to get all the kills or the plant he needed. And the round goes over to Infused. So we're coming down to the deciding one. Right now, it comes down to mindset. And uh, who's thinking like, okay, let's do this. And I mean, barrage. They looked so strong on uh, on, on on server room, control room. So yeah, that's going to be really interesting. They could have also picked maybe the other bomb site because that one would throw off infuse so much because they played it. They played like how many rounds now? It's like uh, nine rounds in a row. On the other maps, no, it's five five. It's ten rounds. Yeah, ten rounds on the all the, t the same bomb spots, and then taking the, the other one as sort of yeah back up could throw them off. But if you don't have any tactics prepared for that, then you shouldn't do this. But still, that is something also for overtimes that you can do. But right now, I'm really interested to see how uh, Infused will yeah now attack and. Um, if Whiskit can again come up for his team, take take them on with his poles because he's doing a really good job with poles. All the detail. Is where do they put him this time? They've started to realize and get used to him being on the stairs. He has played inside the thermite to ball wall room a couple of times, the top room. Now he's playing a more dangerous spot here inside the control room. It's a spot which Castle has played a couple of times but was exposed to. Blackbeard on the windows and well, lost very hard to Blackbeard on the windows before, so he needs to think about this again. Yeah. As now Smitch is starting to make his way towards the building. Drones. Webster is already cracking open the door to Red Brick, and this is a building that's been woefully neglected by both teams. Detol tried to come over here once, was very quickly killed off in the sky bridge. And uh, down he goes, rounding it out, and that meaning nobody else ever went over that building again. So. The bush will now come through from Webster as a couple of drones are there to be his eyes. One will find Frost there on the stairs and now he's very cautiously edging forward again to being behind the models. Deploying heartbeat sensor. I'm waiting for the bush. Going on the stairs, still cross playing. Nobody's trying to open up some windows from range. Optics still draining the floor below. Switch is holding this other angle straight here from the model room to help out Webster, but now Webster will start blowing the floor next to him as he's looking for that thermite spot. Right now, we are in a phase where everyone is playing so cautious. No one is pre peeking or something. It mostly comes down to uh, yeah, nerves and uh, how they prepare for the execute. Right now, I think this round will also be a 30 second round, like comes down to the last 30 seconds due to the necessity of the ma of the round, because for the one team it means it's a 2-0, for the other team it means it's a 1-1. So right now this is like everyone is so focused. I think we heard there's Anubis taken down, TWBFC, this is a very crucial opening crack here. Yeah, picked up a kill on Jaeger from across the other exactly. side of the map. Now we see... Blackbeard heading up top as the walls are being blown on open and with TWBC already killed off at the back side of this room. Suddenly Infuse are feeling much more comfortable with this push. We've got Frost around to the right hand side, Valkyrie and Pulse there as well if they're coming in to try and plant here and they've got 49 seconds. Last couple of rounds they've tried this, they've run very very low on time and not managed to successfully get anything down. Just taken a lot of damage and a lot of bullet spray. They could have just some guys at the windows and aiming at them. They do have one man on the window, but here comes the shots. As first Frost comes up the stairs, she trades a little bit in towards Smitch, but he's not got as many bullets in his gun. Here's the plant coming down. Anubis is ready to go. Whiskered as he peeks out. Frost comes up and also gets down for her troubles. Wine comes the only man to grab a kill here. 
for the defending Barrage squad. Anubis is the man that falls, but now Weingum has been down inside the back. No, he's got one prone inside the back of the room. Prone to safety and now coming close. The C4 is going to come up, but she'll be down before she can detonate it. And it is all on Whisker Willis. He's got four to find and not much health to do it with. Doesn't get it at all. Infuse will secure it. And the round and the map and the game goes over to Infuse. Six rounds to five with all three points. Well played there.